Hi, this is Kevin. My family and I own a craft barbecue joint in Canton, Georgia. We do barbecue our way while paying homage to our past generations. We look forward to sharing our recipes, stories, tips, and tricks from our journey. Together, we are 441 South. And this is Barbecue the Hard Way. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Hey, welcome back. So today we're doing braised short ribs. So knowing Kev, I kind of messed up today. Um, went to our favorite butcher shop, Wilkes, bought plate ribs, which is short ribs, but uh, didn't have Hunter cut them. I was like, ah, we're gonna do them badass. We're just gonna have a huge short rib with a bone and everything. That's fine smoking them. But uh, when I went to braise them, I didn't have a pot big enough to put them with the with the bones in them. So, uh, so uh, had to cut them off the bones to braise them, but I know that they're gonna be awesome. So uh, let's get into it. Check out these massive beef ribs we got from Wilkes Meat Market. I split them down into threes. I should have had Hunter cut them down into smaller bits with the bones on it, but uh, I thought they would look badass. Served like that until I figured out that they weren't gonna fit in my uh, Dutch oven to uh, braise them, but uh, rubbed them down with my mustard and uh, Worcestershire sauce slather mixture. Recipe, recipe will be below for that and our rub recipe. So I start with a two-part rub recipe. I go on with 16 mesh black pepper. Coat all sides, make sure you get your sides and your bottoms and tops. Then I'm gonna go back with our salt and garlic mixture. Get a good coating on all sides. I'm gonna put them on a wire rack to get them on the smoker. So uh, these look amazing. That thing right there in the middle is a big old ass. So we're gonna get the smoker fired up. It's running about 200, 225 to get these uh, plate ribs on. I like that heavier smoke at the lower temps and just let it steadily build up temp to about 250, 275. And uh, we're gonna roll these things for probably five to six hours, get them up to about 185 or so through the stall before we put them in the brazing liquid using hickory wood. So now we're gonna get our beef stock ready. I'm just peeling these carrots. We're gonna rough chop the carrots, celery, and onions. I have roasted off and smoked off some uh, femur bones that I already have in the pot. We're gonna chop these up, put them in the pot, cover them with water. And uh, this is gonna go for probably seven to eight hours and uh, just reduce down. May have to add some more water in as it goes. I'm also gonna add some black garlic paste uh, from our friends from Soul to Belly. That stuff's amazing. You don't want to miss out on it. So I'll put the link below so you can get yours. Get that thing fired up. Get it up to a slow simmer, boil. Just let it slowly go all day long. So we're about three hours in guys look at the color on those ribs like they look so good they're pulling back a little bit puffing up cooked off some bacon and I got that fawn in the bottom of it where we cooked off the bacon. Add a little red wine to deglaze the pot. I'm going to reduce this down just stirring it getting it up to a slow boil to, uh, to reduce that red wine. This is for our braising liquid. I'm just going to keep stirring it slowly getting all that stuff off the bottom cleaning it up like it's going to be delicious. Once we get this reduced down and the ribs get about 185 we're going to put them in here top them with a little uh, little of the beef stock we're making and cooking down. Guys, look at that color. Those beef ribs are about ready to come off. 
Like, it just doesn't get any better than that. While this thing's reducing, I'm going to put a little rosemary and thyme, some added flavor, aromatics, some herbs to it, and uh, let them cook while it's still reducing. Alright guys, so these short ribs have been on for about five, six hours. As you can see, they're reading right around 170, 180. They're time to come off and get ready to put in our braising liquid. So uh, let's get these bad boys off and get them upstairs. And uh, look how beautiful they look, though. Good grief! Look at that! Look at that fat pig! Look at those! So we're gonna get these things in a braising liquid. Get these finished up for dinner. You don't want to miss that. Guys, so here's where I messed up. So um, they wouldn't fit in the uh, in the Dutch oven with the bones on, so I had to take the bones off, cover them with that beef stock we made. Look how velvety it looks. So good. So we're gonna t we're gonna cover them just about all the way. Put the lid on them. Get them back on the smoker for probably another two hours or so. All right, nothing goes better with these short ribs braised like that and then grits. And um, don't forget, it's a four to one ratio. So two cups water, two cups milk, one cup grits. And I'm putting two sticks of butter in. I'm also gonna add salt right as it starts steaming, right before it boils and we add the grits in. But you gotta stir this stuff, golly, you gotta stir it. You don't want the grits to stick to the bottom. So you stir, stir, stir for probably a couple of minutes. Reduce the heat or turn it off, put a lid on it, let it sit for 30 to 45 minutes, and you are going to end up with some beautiful grits. Look at those bad boys. They don't even have any cheese in them. They're just that naturally yellow. So good. Y'all, look at these beef ribs. They've been going for another two hours. So we're going to remove them from the, from the braising liquid. We're going to put the braising liquid back on the on the stove and let it reduce down. I screwed up. I got hungry. Um, I needed to reduce more. It's more of a presentation thing. It's not going to affect the flavor at all. Let's get these juggers plated up. So grits going down. I know it's a little off center guys. I have a really poor eyesight. I'm losing my vision so uh, so it's a little off but hey it doesn't affect the flavor. I could have sliced through this thing with one push down of the knife, but I didn't want it to fall apart. They are so tender. I wanted presentation wise. So I sliced them up. I'm gonna get them plated up. Again, I should have let the the uh, braising liquid reduce down for our sauce. It's more of a presentation thing than anything. It doesn't affect the flavor. They're still amazing. But uh, you want it to thicken up. You want it to be a good, good sauce on it. But uh, I was impatient. We were hungry. We were ready for dinner. But guys, look at those beef ribs. Again, I could have reduced this sauce down more. I was just impatient. Doesn't affect the doesn't affect the flavor of it. We're gonna pour that sauce over top. Even though it's thin, I ain't mad at it. It's still amazing. These short ribs and grits were unbelievable. The depth of flavor on them, unreal. Y'all can roast me if you want, but I know it was thin. But the thickness is more of a presentation thing. I'm gonna top it with a little green onion. It doesn't get any better than that. So guys, we went through the whole process. The smoking on the Moberg. We cut them individually, smoked them, took them to about 180, and then 
we made our own stock. We, we made our own, uh, I could have let it reduce a little bit more, um, but I'm starving. So uh, these are over grits. Our grit recipe is gonna be below, but guys, these look amazing. We're just gonna dig into them. I mean, I don't know what else to do. And you don't need a knife. Like they are, they are falling apart. I could pull them. Oh my God. Yup. Mm-hmm. If you haven't tried braised short ribs and you're you're fearful of doing any kind of short ribs smoked wise, this is the way to go. They're so rich in flavor. Those grits take it down and then that sauce like I said I could have reduced the sauce a little more I was impatient but next time I will um, they're amazing they're simply amazing you can't get any better than that so uh, whether they're just straight smoked or smoked and braised short ribs are the way to go and uh, guys thank y'all for tuning in hey comment below let me know what you think of them let me know what you want to see also if you enjoy what you're watching Please subscribe. Hope to see you in the restaurant soon. Guys, thank y'all so much. Y'all have an awesome day.